kill her. Wait! Wait! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No! 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 <laughs> hey guys, this is Artem and welcome. First off, welcome back to the Dark Pictures Anthology series that I'm doing. I'm doing the demos right now just to see how the games are, see if they're, you know, up to par with what I want to keep an eye out for where sales are concerned <laughs> where sales are concerned and today i am going to be playing the second demo of this anthology series and that is the house of ashes they do do enough where you get to experience the game the characters what to expect just in general and you know it's at least the man of madame was good for that but i'm hoping to get a little bit more out of it out of uh this playthrough so without further ado let's jump into this Okay, so this one gave us a level. <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna, oh my gosh. That loading screen was waiting for me. It wasn't even a loading screen. <laughs> it was just a message. Anyways. For they have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind. Okay. Oh my gosh. Every choice has a consequence. Others lead to death. I may have missed, uh, choose wisely. <laughs> One of the lines there wasn't paying attention. Make sure you got your snacks. Make sure you got your snacks. Make sure you got at least some water. I got a hot chocolate here. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. This is intense. This is very intense. What is that? What is that? Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Get out of the way. No! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. No, it well. won't. General Bellato, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. Which means kill later. The gods smile on you. For now. No, they. Take this one back to the cell. They smile Nothing forever. Later. Ah, uh, the gods are smiling on me. Why am I going back to the cell? You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. Luck means released. <laughs> General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. God sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <laughs> Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? 
Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Wait! 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 I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Would you prefer I used your blood instead? You have your orders. Kill her. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No! 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 I literally almost want to go back and see if it doesn't even work. <laughs> that sucked. <gasps> yeah, good luck going back to the, like the cellar and unleashing a hundred captives. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, leave me alone. No! No, are you serious? Are you serious right now? You've spent too long killing the calves in our cells, Balatu. You've lost your edge. No edge has been lost, first off. Just a girl. Nothing but a girl. A girl? I see only a Gutian demon. <gasps> If you cannot kill in my name, General, then perhaps you can die for it. Fight well. No, that sucked. Get him! This is so intense. There is so much going on right now. So I wonder what's going to happen to us because I genuinely do, I, I literally felt like it was going to be game over if I, if, I didn't, if I didn't attack her and then it was like, just sort of took the chance because I was like literally not in the mood. But it looks like we got away with it, we'll see. This is intense, even the statue is nuts. Okay, so he's free. Good news, but now does he have to fight his way out of this place? 
Gods give me strength. Yeah, literally. They got him. They got him. They got him. Eh, they got him. him. Oh, I guess we have to help him. Is there no way else out of that throne room? Oh my god. Crap design. Terrible design. Oh, oh. been cursed. Our king has cursed us all. We thought you were the demons. We were wrong. I keep sack the temple at the pool. He builds this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacombs. You think I should trust you? You have no choice. I've got you. Go, go. What is that? There's low-key nothing I love more than when it's like some hidden, some hidden monster. I don't know, I just want to see it. <laughs> I just want to see it, I just want to see what it looks like. So he went to war. And then he got chased back inside. <laughs> by whatever that was. That's intense. Help me with this. Oh. Follow me. There is a way out through the stone. Do? Yes. For the builders when they're done. Come. What is that? What is that? Is it one of those things? What is it? What is that? Oh, I freaking cannot stand this. Oh my god. I hate it. This is the worst. An Akkadian? Scared of a rodent? I have seen it all now. Yeah. All this death, for nothing. They died in vain, for a mad king. Oh, okay. <laughs> Better yet, a whole beetle. <laughs> Okay, so there is some like a uh, camera and light source. Okay. Hey, there's something over here. What's this? Use we are by our own actions. Why did your king create the temple? Same story that history has taught us: for gold, for glory, for greed. I don't think there's anything there. 
Oh. Well, I'm not looking at any doors right now. What's this? Oh my gosh, okay, so that was a premonition. Okay, this is hilarious. I love, I absolutely love how it's a stone tablet the sentence of the painting. That's funny. <laughs> I would have never would have guessed that that was it. Uh, let's go back. So now I know for a fact that when I played the Man of Midon um, playthrough and I had the premonition unlocked, I don't think I actually ever got to see the premonition. So I don't... I think there was something wrong with it because no matter when I went back, I couldn't really get it to work, so. Oh, and it's not letting me, like, investigate. Oh, the camera. It's a very strict camera. It's very controlling. Oh, what's this? Oh, no, it's no. Same old, it's the same old tablet. Let's go back. Does it have a, you have only made choices with your heart where possible? Oh, I never, you know what? I never really noticed that, that there is a bit of a, a heart shape or I think a head shape. Find the secret exit, search the catacombs, okay? Well, I'm done with the catacombs to be honest with you. I like to get out. Here, help me with this. You first. We're safe down here. You first. Literally, yeah. You're doing it. Yep. Lead the way. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutian. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? Oh my gosh. The enemy of my enemy is a friend. Oh, okay. So Balatu is willing to cooperate with Kurum. Uh, Balatu uh, seemed relieved at the death of his king. Oh. Okay, so we know we know that even he, despite his, you know, earlier arrogance, that he is glad that he's gone. That's good. Um, It's always interesting when you're playing some games like this, because it's like they set the sort of like a... I don't know, like the theme or the vibe of the characters and the, the story. So it's hard to make choices sometimes because it doesn't always show out, uh, turn out the way I expect we it to. Each other. Or the way I would like it to. You know? Because it considers like their feelings and their, like, you know, whatever. You, you understand what I'm saying. Hope. That's good. I was respectful earlier. We'll see if that, if that remains. <laughs> what was that? Many ways into this tomb. We're not alone down here. You're doing a lot of stopping and looking around. What are you looking at? What are you honestly looking at? What's this? What's here? Huh? What are you looking at? Well, this is a little off. Yeah, this 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 thing is a strike me as something that actually has real worthwhile collectibles. You know? Over here. Or an inventory. What is that? No, the doors in here, that opened a little too easily. Stick the. Oh my gosh! What is that? I was gonna say stick the torch in the ball. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I spam this thing. What is that? Did you see his phalanges? Coming. No. No. Acadian! There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run... Then we both die. 
Ready your sword. Let's go. Where are we going? Where are we gonna go, right? I don't trust this thing. This thing is gonna need to go for us in one day. Oh, no! Yes! Get him with the fire! You dropped everything? Oh my god. You could They're giving us. I got him. I got him. I got him. I was spamming the mouse button. Spamming it. <laughs> they popped up so fast. I didn't think I was gonna make that. No! Well, forget this whole idea. <gasps> no way. Oh, no! oh my gosh. We didn't play a single live person. Oh. Here we go. This is an ad I hadn't seen before. Won't you stay? This damn. Is. So far, it's just a guy walking down the hallway. At least Maddie Madonna's trailer was like, it was a sneak peek of what was going on in the actual game. This looks like a very general trailer. I have no idea what this is. And it's taking too long. So, <laughs> thank you so much for watching um, our playthrough of House of Ashes. Um, honestly, this is one I I will absolutely be on the lookout like, Without challenge, I will be <laughs> I will be looking out for this one on sale because it was really cool. Um, I'm really intrigued. Like, I don't know who's intrigued about Man of the Dawn too, but this one is like, uh, like it's really good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, especially if you stuck out for the end. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next playthrough. You teeter on the edge of an abyss. Your survival depends on the choices you make. Wait, what? They will be as a compass, guiding you through the unknown. Wait. Would you find the path to salvation, or be lost in the darkness forever? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. It's good to see you again. You're probably keen to get started. Let yep. us not dally any longer. As you are aware, I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and Mr. betrayal, Marvel. life. <laughs> is that her, was that her name? Was that her name? I can't remember. That teacher from Harry Potter who turned around was that one. But I am not here to help you. Although, I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. 
is somebody outside. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Okay. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. Will, be they, will they be showing the future, up? Best avoid them. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Fair's good. Fair's good. Anyways, uh, here's the trailer for the game I just played. Wait a minute, what is this? What is this? There's like three trailers in this. This this is one demo that is fully loaded. Fully loaded. From a 20 minute demo where you do just hardly about nothing to a 20 minute demo with three trailers. We have the prelude here, we have the franchise introduction, and now we have not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. A trailer of one of the games. Early. Hey, this looks like I'm playing. Oh my gosh. Impatient. Uh, apologies, apologies, for apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. Glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, you're good to go. You should read this. And you here? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Kolchak, first lieutenant. Cold check. Well, the briefing room. So, this is a good example of what I was talking about earlier. Like, I didn't care, but maybe I didn't feel how heavy the case was about why she dropped it that way. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but you could tell he was like annoyed by the handling of it. This is funny. What's up, Maureen? Can't you keep up? Okay. Wait a minute, he looks familiar. It's gonna be the last time to gather, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Hey, right, Rachel. Are you gonna tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's gotta be over. Come on. Baby, I just don't think this is the right time. Wait, that's not what I agreed to. There's never a right time. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. I'll see you at the briefing. Shit. Uh-oh. You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. 
chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> Got the CIA, Move to the got briefing the Army, room. Okay. The Marines, DIA, the Air Force. So I guess him hey, and the lady we just saw are married. Are they been apart? God bless America. Why are you behind me like that? That's annoying. Stop. Let's go. I see you, old man. You busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach with there too. Later. We have company. Well, we miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? You wanna spot me, little lady? You can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin, he likes social skills. <laughs> uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the Colonel full sight access. <laughs> His face. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Rachel and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. Nice work, hot shot. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. No. <laughs> no. No. And it's funny because you can tell by these choices that this Eric King, he wants, he wants to be me. <laughs> He's me. We're forcing him here to be nice. Get you shut up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting Sam to you. So what is that? What is that? We got what a deal, that? lady. Urgent results needed. What hey, is this whoa. place anyway? Okay. Looks like an old With ballroom. survey group who uh, cut exactly it off what it today, is. imperatives have stressed like the need for mission success. One, our and military operations need a clear and compelling end state. U.S. forces have been engaged to end uh, the threat. To the international community uh, from Iraqi WMD. Uh, until we prove that threat, we cannot rightly justify the invasion under international law. Two, with the cessation... Hey, I was in the middle of reading stuff. All right, I'll leave it for you guys. I'll leave the rest of it. Because <laughs> I scrolled at the last second before it's with over, so. We'll pause it. Pause it till you guys can read it. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated, I had to move fast. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? 
I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? What is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. Yeah. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. <laughs> you behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Yep. Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the f are we waiting for? I'm ready. It's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? Hey, oh! We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. This feel right to you? Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. Uh-oh. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me set up the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Rach, this is it? Everything I've worked on these past years, it's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. 
I actually didn't know who I was playing. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach. Don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh, uh, sorry. She got in that box of tricks anyway. Is that? Ultraviolet light. You didn't even know what was in there. Explosive. You're just flinging it around. Let me have a go. No. <laughs> How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? <laughs> Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. Uh oh. All right, let's look around. Wait, wait for the download. Speak to the team. Inspect the briefing room. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's this? What are we looking at? What is that? Is it a bomb? Is it a bomb? Okay. Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. White phosphorus. It's just for popping smoke. That's all. These are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us. Oh. Oh, here's the, you know what? Here's the letter we were just reading. I'm not finished right now. Uh, oh, there are three. Two with the cessation of hostilities, risk of the regime. Hey, sorry. Oh my god, and it scrolls! Woo! Uh, regime. Evidence of WMD is heightened. The survey group needs to move quickly to identify and exploit for WMD sites. And personnel, our allies in the international community, need reassurance that our intelligence services are sound. We look forward to your report signature, blah blah blah, and other stuff. I just wanted to read, like, the meat and potatoes. What else is interesting? That is interesting. Okay, I got some things. Oh, glittery over here. Is this the same thing? Organize and direct intelligence capabilities. Of okay, I'll just slowly scroll through this, and if you're interested, you can read it. Um, I've read it, but it's a lot of mumbo jumbo that I don't want to be interested in. Makes it more authentic for me. What the hell do we need this crap for? So I'll read it. We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should... So, I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Pencil pusher. So I guess he's thinking, we don't really need that. Well, we might, you never know. You think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. Mm -hmm. Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the border. 
You sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we're needed. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Carl. Can we take a step back and think about this for a minute? I've made my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? Well, my parents owned a horse named Lucky. He ran away. Bet oh. the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're gonna clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. I hope he's okay. Like, that would be the worst feeling ever. <laughs> if he was one of the ones that, oh, picking up more paperwork? No, nope. it could probably be the same paperwork. But it's all about that picture at the top, so I can't really doubt from the bottom. And I think we've done all we're going to do here. I think we're still waiting. Are we still waiting for like, are we genuinely waiting, waiting for that thing to download? Is that what this is? That's what it feels like. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So, finally. Okay, I guess we just have to click on everything in the room. And let's complete. Let's get to the helos. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think of him? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind. I would so go back and make different choices, but I like it's like been so long. <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay, so I'm like getting all like all riled up, I'm excited and whatnot. This is okay. So first off, this demo was awesome. Okay, um, having those two parts. I actually thought it was two different games, two different games, or maybe like, cause I know that there's other de de uh, demos that I downloaded. I, I was wondering if it had like continued the demo, like, or continued on to another demo or something. And, but it was cool because it sort of sets the tone for like maybe the past and uh, the present and whatnot. Really cool stuff. And here I am gearing up to go to this <laughs> war concerned with the last decision I made and the demo ends. So <laughs> that kind of sucked. But other than that, it did its job. I'm hooked. And I will definitely be looking out for this game when it comes out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Especially if you stuck it out to the end. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch and quick. And I will see you in my next playthrough.